What's up guys? It's been a year since I've done a video. I'm back. Um, a lot's happened in the last year. I'm going to follow up on all those things. Uh, but yeah, I've been on testosterone therapy now for a year and three weeks. Um, a lot has happened in that time. Uh, so really the main reason why I haven't done a video in so long was because the last doctor that I saw kind of... Uh, wasn't really working with me on my testosterone. Uh, they started me out taking uh, testosterone for every week for two months and then it was uh, every two weeks for a month and then once a month. And once I got on once a month of 1cc uh, testosterone, sipping it, I uh, started just having a lot of problems and my Felt like my levels were still getting low. Uh, at the time, I actually didn't have health insurance, and I would have to go get my blood work done, see the doctor. My levels would be low. It would cost me a ridiculous amount of money to do that, um, and they pretty much just weren't up in my dosage. They were pretty much just saying uh, that it will build up over time, and you just need to stay at the one dosage. Um, for someone who had as low testosterone as me, that's scary when someone tells you that. Um, I thought my levels were originally 96, but they were actually 78. That's how low my testosterone was. Uh, just a quick recap. I was sick for about two and a half years. Uh, the doctors never could figure it out. I used to live in New Orleans. The doctors I saw there thought I had vertigo or anxiety. I moved to Mississippi. Um, and doctors kind of thought the same thing about the anxiety. Um, then, I don't know how, we, we got on the topic of working out or something like that, and the doctor uh, mentioned something about checking my testosterone levels, and that's when I realized that uh, my body just wasn't producing testosterone. And you can watch my previous videos for kind of like what I went through. Um, sorry for I uh, mumble a lot sometimes, something I definitely need to work on, um, but... If you can sit through it, uh, it will tell you a lot about my experience at that time and what I went through. Um, but yeah, so the doctor never went up my dosage. Um, I actually went to a little walk-in clinic. I was sick with a sore throat. Um, and I was talking to the doctor there and I said, hey, um, I told him about my situation. That the doctor had me on a low dose trying to figure out what I need to do and she actually said you know that she treats people for testosterone and I was like sweet so that's when I had to get my old records from the old hospital transferred that's when I realized that my levels were really a 78 um, and I mean, before I switched doctors uh, they originally had me on like the big bottle of testosterone, which had like enough for like 10 shots worth in it. Uh, and I was only supposed to take it once a month, but because they weren't ever working with me, I started taking it once a week. Because I just read a lot and watched a lot of YouTube videos on people who took it once a week. Now they're doing better. So I just kind of took that upon myself. But that's not always a good idea. I wanted to mention that to you guys. Um, I did that every week for a while. My body started overheating, started feeling really bad. I went and got my blood work done, and it came out that they were like above 1500. You know, that's not good because it raises like your estrogen levels, and your testosterone is just too high, and your hormones are just all out of whack. Um, so, it's def definitely don't do that. Um, try to seek out another doctor, that would be my best advice. Um, but yeah, switch doctors. Um, and I did some blood work. Um, my levels were at like 130 at the time, which were really low. Really low, it was supposed to be between like 500 to 750 or so for my age, um, which I'm 29, I'll be 30 uh, next month. Uh, but yeah, so she pretty much had me doing, instead of the one cc once a month, I take half a cc for two weeks and then the other half a cc. For the other two weeks and it's definitely helped a lot like a lot um and every three months i go in for a routine blood work check to check my levels and to see what to do from there 
Um, let's see. So just a quick uh, recap on the whole year. Um, as you can tell from my previous video, I do have facial hair now. Um, I'm actually my body structure is a lot more. Uh, I guess mainly you would you could say uh, my libido is a lot higher. Um, since I went to take testosterone every two weeks, my acne ever actually went down. I was kind of worried about that. I had really bad acne for a while, and uh, I thought it was something I was going to have to live with for life. But since I got my levels kind of uh, a little better, my acne has gone down a lot. There's still some, but it's a lot better. Uh, I actually have like chest hair growing in now. Uh, I didn't have that before, uh, but yeah, this is just. This is crazy, because if you look at my other video, it's like, that wasn't possible. I look like a 17-year-old kid. It was bad. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my year. I was also going to mention that um, I do still have some anxiety. Um, and I think it's mainly because I was sick for so long. I was sick for two and a half years. I didn't know what was wrong. And I experienced a lot of anxiety during that time. Um... I actually was having a lot of uh, joint pain recently at work and I uh, found something for that I wanted to try and it's called uh, curcumin. This is actually the main medicinal benefit uh, or medicinal ingredient in turmeric. I've heard of turmeric before. Um, it's a little root. It's really good to put in tea if you're sick, things like that. But uh, it's really good for see it promotes some more supports cardiovascular health promotes healthy joints. Uh, it's it's actually good for a lot of things. If you look into it, it's it's crazy. But I didn't know this when I'm taking this, and my mood has actually been getting a lot better. I did a little research, and apparently, curcumin is they actually say it's better for you better for you than taking Prozac. So most people know Prozac as uh, anti-anxiety medication. This stuff has changed my life. Um, I don't know. I just know that in the last month, I've been so much happier. Um, I've just been feeling better. Something definitely to check out. Um, I actually had a different brand before this. But this brand, I think, is a little bit more pure. Um, you just want to check this stuff out. It's really good. Um, for, uh, testosterone, the doctor mentioned I need to make sure I have, uh, a good level of vitamin D. Um, I actually take this, I got this off of Amazon. It's also got K2 in it. It's good for, like, vision, things like that. Um, uh, this is 5,000, um, IOUs, vitamin D3. I work inside for 10 to 12 hours a day. Uh, I don't really take much breaks. I don't really get a chance to go outside. So I supplement that while I'm at work. On my days off, I'm actually at the park playing disc golf out in the sun. And uh, I don't take it on those days. I just try to soak up as much natural vitamin D as I can. Uh, another thing that's really good for supplementing when you have low testosterone is uh, omega-3. Um, actually, I'm sorry. I mean, it might be good for... For low testosterone, I meant to say if you have anxiety, things like that, uh, omega-3 is really good to have in your system to help support uh, mental health and mental clarity. Um, one other thing I was, I was going to talk about real quick is I was having uh, kind of a side effect recently I went to the doctor about what uh, apparently was because of low testosterone or being on TRT because I was having some memory problems. So it's been going on for a while, and um, I went and got checked out. She thought maybe I had low thyroid. I got my thyroid checked. Everything was 100% fine. Um, but she said being on testosterone replacement therapy, that some people do have problems. Um, now, I found this. I did a lot of research on this. And so far taking this, it's really helped clear my uh, congestion in my head and my brain fog. But it's an herb called Goto Cola. Actually, I think I got this on my Amazon too. Um, so it's great. Like you'll take it and you'll immediately feel 
like your head is cleared. It's actually good for Alzheimer's and uh, relieving like inf inflammation on uh, your brain and, and uh, just inflammation in, in general. Um, so far it's great. Definitely check it out. Go to Cola. Um, also make sure you take your multivitamins. Uh, things like that. If anybody has any other supplements that are good for low testosterone, please let me know. Um, I love to always learn about other things to try or different foods to eat to help support that. Um, yeah, I just want to do a quick update on my testosterone. Uh, I feel like I look a lot different than a year ago. Uh, I feel a lot better. Um, if anybody has any questions, just let me know. Alright, later guys.